Hello and welcome to the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure video course provided to you by ArhanErgon.net. In this video we will do a quick introduction. So first, my name is Omar Adel, I work as a network security engineer and I have a very large experience in network automation. I will guide you through the automation part in the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure exam video course regarding the exam topics. So this is my so this video will be a quick intro. I hold the following certification and I have those skills. Let's go into the most important part, which is the exam topic and the, and the content that we will cover in this video course. So in this video course, we will take the official exam topics and go with it one by one sequential. So whatever exam topics, which is now version 1A, you will find the video course and the video titles same as the exam topics. Of course, with a little tweaking in the titles. The automation and the programmability will cover 15% of the entire exam. So it is a fair deal of the exam percentage. But uh, of course you are now went through the CCMP Incor and you see how much automation in the exam or even in the content of the book. And of course, it is good to have an automation skill in your life. So be careful, you are now studying the CCIE automation, not the CCNA, not the CCMP. So we are now studying some advanced topic regarding programmability and coding. We have the three main part. Part number one, which is the data encoding format. Mostly we will deal with JSON and XML. Uh, this will not take much, maybe one or two episodes. We will see what is JSON data format and what is the XML serialization one. Uh, and of course we will use it with the associated protocol later on. The second part, which is my favorite, because you will deal with something you already knew, which is the EEM applet, the default built-in in Cisco EEM. It appeared like from version 12.5. It is very old. It have multiple. Uh, it have multiple releases with multiple approaches mainly it have two types or two flavors. We will uh, deal with the applet one and we will do some kind of built-in Cisco syntax automation. So we will use whatever tools, whatever tools that Cisco provide uh, EM to do, to do standalone automation in a single device. Of course, with the Cisco iOS XE, there is the Linux environment and the container technology that have the guest shell. So the guest shell will provide you a Linux environment inside a Cisco device. And of course, and I quote, it must be an iOS XE. It will not work in the normal uh, virtual iOS or virtual iOS layer two, or even the older ones. So your device must be iOS XE, like the famous Catalyst 9K, so 9300, 9400, the wireless controller, etc., etc. All of those devices will have the iOS XE. And of course, when we say a container, we will mean a Linux environment. And when we say a Linux environment, we will talk about Python. We will use Python in most of our codes because uh, it is the most usable programming language and I could scripting doing network automation. So we will use Python a lot. We will, uh, we will learn how to use the Python module in both the iOS XE version, major version 16 and major version 17, the Python version two, the deprecated one and Python version three, which is the latest. Now I'm talking in the mid 2021, maybe later on will be some update. Last and not least in this uh, topic, we will integrate EEM with Python module. So that's all for part one and part two of the automation. Let's go into the biggest and last part, which is part number three. In part number three, it has sub part or sub topics. Uh, we will start with automating the Cisco vManage, which is under the SD1. Then we will go into the Cisco DNA center and I quote the Cisco DNAC API. So the Cisco SD-WAN and the Cisco DNA center 
those are a Cisco products, a Cisco virtual appliances or a physical appliances that deal with the SDN concept. Do you remember back in some bike back in five years or seven years? Uh, the SDN just came and uh, all the appliances, the Epic, the Epic EM came along with it. Those are the predecessors of the Epic, which are the uh, Cisco DNAC. Uh, after that, we will go with the iOS XE, the favorite router or virtual router CSR. We will uh, do some digging with it. And after that, we will go into the MDT, the model driven telemetry, and of course, with the Cisco iOS XE. But this is the most important part of the video, so take care. When you see the video or titles, you will see you will see them in sequence because I am going through the Cisco exam topics. But my advice to you is going not sequential because you are now a CCIE enterprise. Maybe you didn't deal with the Cisco Webtella or Cisco SD1 or even the Cisco DNAC. You, you just know what is a router, what is a switch, maybe a firewall, maybe Cisco ICE, but you don't know what is those SDN uh, appliances. So my advice to you is go into this part, which is 5.3.c, which is interacting with Cisco IOS XE, you will start with two major protocol and those protocols are very important because you will see them in the Cisco IOS XE, you will see one of them in the, C in the Cisco IOS XR, maybe in the Nexus. So the first protocol, which is the famous and old NetConf. We will start with NetConf and of course we will use the Yang data model that we uh, that we described in the CCMP Incore exam and video course. Whenever you want to do automation, you will use two things. The first is Python. The second is Postman. So in this course or in the CCI enterprise, you will use two main approaches to do automation. First is the is the hard coded Python script. The second is the Postman. And that's what we will see in the lab preparation. How can you prepare your uh, virtual machine, your lab, your Eve, whatever of equipments and resources that you will need. The second major protocol, which is the RASConf, this is this is not a new, a newer and younger than NetConf. It uses Python and Postman. So, my advice to you is to go through the iOS XE in this section before going into any other one, because when you want to automate, maybe creating a an OSPF instance or changing the description on this interface. Of course, you know what is this because you are now a CCI, you know what is a Cisco router, you know what is a Cisco switch, you know the Cisco syntax, what are they? But if you don't know what is Cisco SD-WAN or you didn't have hands on it or you don't know what is the Cisco DNA center, you may be fuzzy. Okay, I am automating something that I don't know. Maybe I just take a look in. But I highly advise you to go through into the SD-WAN uh, video course if you don't know what is SD-WAN or even the Cisco DNA Center. So the first thing that you must go through is this part, then go sequentially into those parts. That's it. You may just interact with the Cisco SD-1 using the Python and Postman. After that, you will go into the Cisco DNAC, the DNA center, of course, using the same Python and the Postman. All of those you will do CRUD, C-R-U-D, so create, read, update and delete. So you will create something, you verify this, you will update the object and finally you will update this. So. In all of those Cisco appliances, we will do CRUD. Finally, go through the single video of MDT, which is the model driven telemetry. You will see a lot in MDT if you go into the service provider because they consider it very realistic and very time sensitive. But in the enterprise environment, you will just use an, a normal NMS with SSH or even SNMP rather than going into the headache of MDT installing Elasticsearch or TIG, etc., etc. So that's all for the introduction videos. See you in the next video.